Oppidum shelters blend luxury, comfort, and attractive prices. The top-tier version covers 1,150 square meters and comes with a starting price of $60 million. Inside, you'll find five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, handmade chandeliers, and custom-made furniture. A refuge worth showcasing Upon the client's request, the shelter can be enhanced with a movie theatre, a swimming pool, a gym, and even a garden. Naturally, the shelter is safeguarded against chemical, biological, and radiation threats, as well as earthquakes and explosions. As the company's website proudly states, it's conceived, designed, and realized without compromise. These 6-meter containers cater to a broad audience. In this version, they're specifically tailored for military use, meeting NATO standards. They can be conveniently moved by planes or tractor units to any location and converted into 35 square meters of space. There are also smaller 3-meter containers. Customers have the flexibility to select their preferred equipment. If the standard options don't meet their needs, the manufacturer is willing to make modifications. The 3D model assists customers in visualizing the appearance of their container. Speed matters, say the designers of these shelters. For instance, you only have a couple of minutes to seek cover during a tornado, while earthquakes or unexpected events like school shootings can catch you completely off guard. That's why these shelters not only offer protection against 9.5 magnitude earthquakes and Category 5 hurricanes, but can also withstand fire from weapons like AR-15s and AK-47s. In schools, for instance, they can be placed in classroom corners, enabling quick entry in just 30 seconds. Now, let's talk about two shelters, one to keep you warm and another to keep you safe from fire. First up is Igloo. Thanks to the use of polyethylene foam, it offers excellent thermal insulation, maintaining a temperature difference of up to 20 degrees Celsius between the inside and the outside. The shelter's interior is shielded with fire-resistant material, ensuring safety in case of a knocked-over burner. Additionally, assembling the Igloo takes mere seconds. The second shelter is designed for firefighters combating forest fires. Given the unpredictable nature of fire, especially due to wind, firefighters might find themselves in unexpected situations. The video shows them practicing the rapid deployment of personal shelters. Interestingly, in one publication, a firefighter shared their team's real-life experience using such shelters. They held up admirably for 45 minutes.
standing even an EF5 category tornado with wind speeds exceeding 90 meters per second. Remarkably, in the standard model, the door alone weighs 141 kilograms, ensuring buyers have nothing to worry about. Spitbank Fort was erected in the late 19th century, and its original purpose was safeguarding British territories against the French Navy. However, the fort suffered significant damage during World War II. After several reconstructions, it served as a nightclub and a location for filming TV shows. Subsequently, the fort was turned into a hotel, and you could even rent the whole thing at $6,279 per day. Unfortunately, the fort closed due to the coronavirus pandemic and remained shuttered. In 2020, it was listed for sale. Meanwhile, the band Pendulum organized a concert within its historic walls. Any airplane carrying the President of the United States is given the call sign Air Force One. Interestingly, the coloring of these planes has remained unchanged since 1962 and was designed by Raymond Lowy, known for his work on the Coca-Cola bottle. For transporting the American leader, a modified Boeing 747-200B, specifically named VC-25A, is used. Additionally, there's the Boeing 757-200 better known as the Boeing C-32 in its presidential version, used when the destination airport is too small. In line with depictions in action movies, the president and his team have access to telephone and computer communication systems. The VC-25A can accommodate up to 70 passengers and sustain itself the top bunker builder in the world. Their catalog features a range of models for protection against riots, biological threats, and even EMP attacks. Upon request, the bunker can be equipped with an armory, a shower, a kitchen, and even a decontamination room. The bunker doors effectively keep out water and gas, and the outer hatch is bulletproof. Some shelters include an emergency exit by default, the Platinum Series Shelter is priced at about $4,000 per square meter. In 2008, an unusual facility sitting at a depth of 130 meters was inaugurated on Spitsbergen Island. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault is meant to come in handy if natural or man-made disasters leave mankind without crucial crop seeds. Currently, there are 1,214,827 samples from all around the world stored there, with room for millions more in the vault's 1,000 square meter space. Since it's built in a permafrost zone, the natural temperature inside hovers around minus 3.5 degrees Celsius. Special systems also enable cooling the air to minus 18 degrees Celsius, the ideal temperature for seed storage. Manor Hut's designers have surprised us. These shelters are incredibly compact, and eight of them fit into a single transportation container. 
Each shelter not only houses up to eight people, but also adds a touch of comfort to their lives. What's noteworthy is that the Humana Hut can be connected to a water supply and other utilities. Yet, if needed, they can function autonomously. These shelters come with climate control and can be easily modified for kitchens, showers and other spaces. In Australia, they've served as shelters for flood victims and extra hospitals during the pandemic. Safe Plus is a floating shelter against tsunami.